Mini batch K means clustering algorithm. K means is among the most well known clustering algorithms due to its speed performance. With the increase in the volume of data being analyzed and the computational time of K means grows due to its limitation of storing the entire dataset to be stored in memory. This is why a variety of approaches have been proposed to decrease the temporal and spatial costs of the method. Another method that can be used is the mini batch K means algorithm. The main idea of mini batch K means algorithm is to utilize small random samples of fixed in size data which allows them to be saved in memory. Every time a new random sample of the dataset is taken and used to update clusters, the process is repeated until convergence. Each mini batch updates the clusters with an approximate combination of the prototypes and the data results using the learning rate, which reduces with the number of iterations. This rate of learning is the reverse of the number of data assigned to the cluster as it goes through the process. When the number of repetitions increases and the impact of adding new data decreases, convergence is observed when no changes to the clusters happen in consecutive iterations. The research suggests that the algorithm could result in significant savings in computational time but at the cost of a decrease in the quality of the clusters but not an extensive analysis of the method has yet been conducted to determine how the specific characteristics of the data like the size of the clusters or its size impact the quality of the partition. Each batch of data is assigned to clusters based on the prior locations of the cluster's centroids. The algorithm uses small, random portions of the data each time. Then, it updates the positions of the cluster's centroids based on the updated points from the batch. The update is one of gradient descent updates that is much quicker than a standard batch k-means update. Mini batch k-means is a method that updates clusters using tiny random samples rather than the complete dataset. The algorithm works in the following way. Initialize cluster centroids randomly. Take a random sample, mini batch, from the dataset with a predetermined size. Using the previous positions of the centroids, assign data points in the mini batch to the closest ones. A quicker gradient descent like update is used to update the centroids' locations depending on the points in the mini batch. Repeat steps 2 to 4 until convergence is achieved.